I'm just about to go to Sky. Uh, the weather forecast um, says it's going to be pretty rubbish, really. But I'm going to go anyway and uh, just make the best of it. It's, uh, it's 20 past 8. I'm, uh, I'm in Glencoe. I've managed to get some uh, some some shots so far. Um, the light's not been great. It's very cloudy, but it, it looks really cool. For me, it's the uh, best feeling in the world to be completely on my own, in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by gorgeous scenery. It just makes me feel alive. Like nothing else, really. Wait, the way that I'm thinking at the moment is that all the angles that are shot of Ali and Alinian, <laughs> Ali and Donan Castle, um, are going to be the obvious angles, the ones that. Uh, are easy to shoot. Um, the ones that have been laid out for people, uh, i.e. the viewing points and the car parks and the bay. So I'm kind of wandering through the woods, um, trying to find an angle that other people don't get. I'm just kind of hoping that if I uh, go up here, I'll be able to see the castle. It'd be really cool if I could. to the old man of store. The plan is to stay here the night and uh, try and ascend to the uh, the top just before dawn um, and hopefully uh, the clouds will lift to give you some decent photos. It's uh, 1.53. Uh, I'm meant to be asleep. Uh, the original plan was to uh, uh, get up at four o'clock in the morning and uh, walk up to the old man of store and take some shots of sunrise um, but I've been eaten to death by mosquitoes and midges and I'm just itching all over like crazy skin's on fire so I sod it, I'm just going to get up and uh, walk up to the old man of store in the dark and try not to fall off anything Safety rules um. Does it say, don't go up in the dark? Nope. So, that's what my life's been missing then. A bit of adventure, a bit of excitement. It's very, very peaceful on sky, in the dark, and about half past one. Oh, that looks like a steep drop. Shit. I'm going the right way. I don't seem to remember it being like this before. I think uh, there's been a new path built, or being built anyway. Now how long it goes on for. I'm glad I bought this torch. It's nice to be able to see 
for the weather forecast. It says that it should be uh, sunny from uh, 6 o'clock to about 10. Uh, so, if that is the case, then uh, hopefully all the mist on the hill, if there is any this morning, should rise. So, fingers crossed, I should be in for some fantastic shots. kind of <laughs> following a sheep path um, I would kind of like more light <laughs> because it feels like it's getting a bit dangerous I keep forgetting I, uh, I'm not good with heights it's only uh, when I'm something really tall that I remember and think, shit, fog's coming down. I'm stuck on the side of a hill in the dark and I'm now in a cloud. I think I'm going to stay put. Whose crazy ass idea was this anyway? Quarter past four now. The clouds have descended. I'm stuck on a hillside in a rather chilly ball of cotton wool. This has ceased to be fun. <laughs> I'm cold and wet and tired. Why do I do this again? Oh yes, apparently I'm going to get some amazing photo at the end of it. Hopefully, hopefully, make it worth it. We'll see. It's uh, quarter past five. And, uh, oh, the fog seems to be lifting and some light seems to be coming on. I'm actually saying to myself at this point, but you can't hear me because of the wind, is pondering whether it's all been worth it or not. Yeah. And I came to the conclusion that it definitely was. It is worth it in the end. If you care about a scene like that. I mean, look at that. <laughs> and this is just me chuntering on about the quality of light at the right moment. Lights turned uh, from orange into yellow. I didn't do no stinking yellow light. <laughs> so uh, I'm off back to the camper van and then I might get some sleep. 